Hello everyone, my name is Grant Weaver and uh, today I will be telling you about how to make Chick-fil-A nuggets. Yes, everybody's favorite, Chick-fil-A nuggets. Now before we get into it, I think it's important that we uh, briefly go over uh, the history of uh, Chick-fil-A, just really quick. Uh, so pretty much, it uh, started off in 1946, the Dwarf House Grill by S. Truett Cathy in Atlanta, Georgia. And it has grown since then to Chick-fil-A in 47 different states of America. And, you know, everybody knows Chick-fil-A. I mean, come on now. Everybody loves it. All right. So, let's get started on how to make Chick-fil-A nuggets. First things first, food safety. We want to make sure we're wearing a, a nice, preferably yellow apron and some yellow gloves. All right. Yellow uh, stands for pretty much raw chicken in the food world. Uh, so yeah, we want to make sure that we're not touching the nuggets directly with our hands or, uh, you know, you, we want to cover our clothes up with that, with the apron. Um, all right. So now this is where you get into the good stuff. The nuggets, you're going to take your nuggets, your raw nuggets, and you're going to dip them in a milk egg wash. Now I know what you're thinking. What is that? Well, I'd love to get into it, but uh, due to uh, privacy, Chick-fil-A reasons, uh, can't really get into the specifics, but this is just a, a brief description, a brief explanation. So you dip the nuggets into the milk wash and you want to stir it around a little bit. You want to you make sure all the nuggets get, get milk washed. You want to separate the nuggets if you can. And then after that, you're going to take, take the nuggets out of the milk wash. And uh, you, you want to let the milk wash kind of drip down a little bit. You don't you don't want to directly go into the into the coater with a bunch of milk wash with a bunch of with, with a bunch of liquid. So you're gonna let it drip a little bit, and then uh, you, you can kind of mix it around once you take it out after. And then from there, you're gonna dump the nuggets into the coater. Again, secret ingredients with the coater. Can't really get into too much detail, but it's Chick Fil A coater. So you have the nuggets in the coater, right? And you're gonna kind of, kind of throw them around. It, it kind of varies on uh, how many nuggets you do, but you, you kind of want to throw them around. And you don't want to throw them around, right? But you want to kind of, kind of, you know, coat them. You know, just kind of, you know, just kind of do it, right? You want to make sure everything gets coated. You want to separate them if they're if they're still stuck together. You want to separate them so that each individual nugget gets fully coated, all right? And then after that, once all the nuggets are, are separated and fully coated, you're gonna sift the nuggets. You, you know, you don't want to have a whole bunch of coater on the nuggets. You don't want to have an excess amount of coater. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab your sifter, right? You're gonna throw the nuggets in there, all, all your nuggets, and you're just gonna sift the nuggets. You wanna get as much of that extra coater off as you can, and you wanna go until the nuggets have a, are, are a light pink in color. Now, obviously, the, the nuggets originally, before the breading, are pink, mixed with the white, that makes a, the, the white of the coat, that makes a, a light pink, all right? And now, once your nuggets are completely sifted and they are a light pink in color, then you are ready to cook your Chick-fil-A nuggets. So, you're gonna, you have your fryer, of course, and you have a basket for the fryer. You're gonna go ahead and dump the nuggets in the basket and again, depending on how many nuggets you do, if you're doing a lot, you really you want to stir them really good, so they're not all stuck together whenever they they come out. When it, if they come out and they're stuck together, they're they're not going to be fully cooked. So you want to stir them really good, stir them really good in that three three hundred to three thirty or three fifty. I don't know, some, somewhere around there degree oil. Um, and you want to do that for about three three to three and a half minutes. All right, depending on how you like your nuggets, some people like it a little bit more well done. So you know, it just uh, you know just go until you to you to you, uh, you know to yeah you, you know you, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and now after the three to three and a half minutes, I know I know y'all y'all's mouth is watering right now. You you take the nuggets out of the oil, right? And they just look so good, but ha, don't, don't do it yet. Don't eat it. Don't eat it yet. 
they're scorching hot. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna put your nuggets into some sort of serving pan. Um, and you're gonna, you're just gonna wait. A good 90 seconds would be good. Uh, wait a good 90 seconds for them to kind of, you know, simmer down. You know, they're, they're fresh out the oil. You don't wanna serve them right away, right? You don't wanna eat them right away. You're gonna burn your mouth. So you're gonna wait a, a cool 90 seconds. And then finally, you're ready to dig in to get into those nuggets. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm glad y'all uh, enjoyed and I'm glad y'all listened in. Uh, I'll catch y'all later. See y'all later. Peace out.